Imagine a world where the Moon, our celestial companion, came into existence not through eons of gradual evolution, but in a mere matter of hours. A world where the very origin story of this enigmatic satellite is turned on its head. It's a captivating notion that challenges everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. In the realm of science and astronomy, we've long believed that the Moon's birth unfolded over millions of years, a complex dance of cosmic collisions and celestial debris slowly coalescing. But what if this narrative is about to change? What if there's compelling evidence suggesting that the Moon's formation was far more dramatic and rapid than we ever imagined? Buckle up, like, and subscribe to the channel as we embark on a journey through the intriguing possibility that the Moon could have come into being in mere hours. Rewriting the cosmic history books and reshaping our understanding of the universe itself Four point five billion years ago, in the infancy of our planet, Earth bore witness to a cataclysmic event that forever changed its destiny. It collided with a primordial behemoth known as Thea, a protoplanet comparable in size to Mars. This collision was no ordinary clash. It was a seismic upheaval of cosmic proportions. The sheer force of the impact birthed an expansive, chaotic debris field from which our moon emerged, painting a dramatic cosmic narrative we now call the Giant Impact Hypothesis, or more colloquially, the Big Splash. Calculations reveal that Thea hurtled towards Earth at an astonishing velocity of 9.8 kilometers per second, striking at a 45-degree angle. The colossal collision sent shockwaves rippling across our young planet in a matter of hours, transforming the surrounding space into a chaotic maelstrom of fragments. For countless eons, the Moon took shape from this tumultuous cloud of debris, as our celestial companion slowly coalesced. Yet, amid this long-held belief, a tantalizing possibility has emerged. What if the Moon, against all expectations, formed within mere hours rather than millions of years? Damn boy! Should this radical notion prove true, it would represent a paradigm-shifting revelation about our Moon's origin story. But how did astute astronomers arrive at this audacious conclusion? What extraordinary events unfolded in the aftermath of the colossal collision that could give rise to a celestial body as significant as our Moon? The pioneering revelations concerning the Moon's formation trace their origins to a historic milestone, the Apollo 11 mission. As the first astronauts set foot on lunar terrain, they did more than plant the American flag. They brought back with them a precious cargo of lunar rock and dust, totaling approximately 1.6 kilograms. These seemingly unassuming samples would, upon meticulous analysis, unlock one of the universe's most profound secrets. Scientific scrutiny of these lunar relics unveiled an astonishing truth. They dated back an astonishing 4.5 billion years. This pivotal discovery marked the inception of our understanding that the Moon took shape merely 150 million years after the birth of our solar system. This era, known to astronomers as one of unparalleled turbulence within our solar system, witnessed the existence of roughly 20 small planets in the inner celestial neighborhood. It was a period marked by relentless collisions, shaping the destiny of our terrestrial planets. It is here, amidst these cosmic cataclysms, that the Moon's enigmatic birth story begins to emerge. At the heart of this saga is the celestial object astronomers have dubbed Thea, a planetary titan of Mars-like proportions. The telltale signs lie in the Earth's 24-hour rotation period, the Moon's size and its current distance. Together, they suggest that the monumental impact that forged our Moon was orchestrated by none other than this ancient, formidable planetary contender. This audacious collision, an event of cosmic proportions, bestowed upon us the Moon and unraveled one of the universe's most enduring mysteries. The conventional hypothesis presents a vivid scenario in which Thea, in its fateful collision with Earth, was shattered into countless fragments. Initially, these remnants commingled with vaporized rocks and gases emanating from the nascent Earth's mantle. Throughout countless millions of years, this celestial puzzle began to take shape. The pieces slowly converged, forming a flattened disk and eventually solidifying into the molten sphere we now know as the Moon. Astronomers have subscribed to this theory since the mid-1970s, considering it the cornerstone of our lunar origin story.
However, recent research has unfurled a captivating twist in this cosmic tale. It proposes a radical departure from the traditional narrative, suggesting that the moon, far from taking shape gradually, may have emerged within a mere span of hours. But what sparked this audacious deviation from the prevailing wisdom? If the conventional theory holds, the moon should primarily consist of material from Thea. Yet, an intriguing puzzle emerges when we scrutinize the composition of lunar rocks. These rocks, analyzed in painstaking detail, exhibit striking similarities to their terrestrial counterparts. What's more, the isotopic signatures found in lunar rock samples closely resemble those of Earth, diverging significantly from the profiles observed on Mars or anywhere else within our solar system. This mounting evidence lends credence to the provocative notion that a substantial portion of the Moon's material may have originated from Earth itself rather than Thea, rewriting the very foundations of lunar science. Moreover, the uncanny alignment of Earth's spin and the Moon's orbit adds another layer of intrigue to this cosmic puzzle, a striking harmony that demands closer examination. To explore alternative scenarios for the Moon's formation in the aftermath of the colossal collision, researchers turned to a powerful computational tool known as SWIFT. This sophisticated program adeptly replicates the intricate interplay of gravitational and hydrodynamic forces at play during and after such a cataclysmic event. Executing their simulations on the formidable supercomputer, aptly nicknamed COSMA, the research team confronted the inherent complexity of modeling such violent collisions. With meticulous precision, they ran countless iterations, progressively refining their resolution until the results reached a stable state. Amidst these computational intricacies, the team simulated hundreds of earth thea collisions, varying angles, spins, and velocities, all while modeling up to a staggering 100 million individual particles. These comprehensive configurations allowed them to scrutinize the impact in unprecedented detail. The outcome of their groundbreaking simulations captured the attention of the scientific community. Astonishingly, the results pointed to a startling possibility. The Moon could have coalesced from the ejected fragments of Earth and the shattered remnants of Thea in a mere matter of hours, challenging the long-held belief in a multi-million year formation process. Furthermore, these models defied earlier assumptions. Astronomers had once speculated that a rapidly forming celestial body near Earth would succumb to the relentless tug of tidal forces, tearing it apart and favoring a protracted creation timeline. However, the recent high-resolution simulations suggest a different narrative. They propose that such a body could not only withstand tidal forces, but also be propelled to a higher orbit, revolutionizing our understanding of the Moon's origin story. This revelation challenges the conventional wisdom that the Moon slowly coalesced from a disk of debris throughout eons. Instead, it suggests that the impact event rapidly thrust the Moon into orbit around Earth. Examining snapshots from these simulations provides a visual narrative of this groundbreaking hypothesis. Early on, a distinct separation emerges between the proto-Earth, depicted in an orange hue, and the outer remnants of the impactor, represented by yellow and brown. The inner remnants transfer angular momentum to the satellite formed from ejected proto-Earth and Thea materials, propelling it into a graceful orbit. These dynamic interactions are vividly highlighted, with the particles forming the satellite and inner remnants portrayed in purple and green, while black lines delineate the estimated orbit. This newfound theory holds the potential to elucidate some of the Moon's enduring mysteries, such as its wide, tilted orbit, thin crust and partially molten interior, it stands as one of the most compelling explanations for the Moon's origins to date. Nevertheless, the quest for certainty presses on, and further evidence is imperative. To validate this theory, we must delve deeper, quite literally, into the lunar mantle. It necessitates the examination of rock and dust samples excavated from the Moon's depths, a mission objective that NASA's forthcoming Artemis mission aims to accomplish. As scientists gain access to samples from diverse lunar regions, particularly from beneath the lunar surface, they can scrutinize the accuracy of these simulations. In doing so, they'll paint a more vivid portrait of how the Moon has evolved throughout billions of years, offering invaluable insights into the intertwined histories of our planet and its natural satellite. The saga of Earth and Moon, their entwined destinies, promises to reveal ever more profound revelations as we journey deeper into the cosmos's enigmatic past.
Before we wrap up, don't forget to show your support by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. By staying connected, you'll be among the first to explore the latest breakthroughs in science and astronomy. Join us on this exciting journey of discovery, where the cosmos reveals its most profound secrets. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you in the next episode.